Hello everyone, my name is Chrissy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm giving my first book review for Autumn Amour. Autumn Amour, if you don't know what that is, it's an event that focuses on romance and we're doing it all throughout September. The first week for Autumn Amour, we have done contemporary versus historical. I've kind of already gone off kilter of my TBR and by kind of, I mean, I just have. For contemporary, I finished Abel by Dee Williams. This is the first out of a 12 book series and it's my first motorcycle club romance, which is kind of a little bit in line with dark romances. So as a warning, I will be talking about some dark themes and hard topics. So this is definitely not for kids. Abel and Dylan at the start of this book have eloped and are on their way to the hotel to do some first night marriage activities. Dylan is the daughter of the motorcycle club president and Abel is his vice president. Oddly enough, the motorcycle club president not liking the fact that Abel and Dylan are getting married is not the main plot of this book. In the first chapter, after some first night marriage activities have been done, the Cardona cartel come back into the picture of Abel and Dylan's lives. Who are the Cardona cartel? Well, we get a lot of background into this woven throughout the book. Just know that the vast majority of the Cardonas are just not nice people. They do not nice things. A lot. As a bit of trigger warning and content warnings, there is sexual assault talked about in this book and there is rape that while not on page, it is described by a character recounting her story. Now I will say as far as content warnings go, uh, this book has a lot of sexual explicitness in it. And if you've been around with my channel a lot, you'll know I don't typically read books that fall into the erotica category. I have tried a few. They're typically not up my alley. I will say that that type of explicitness doesn't really bother me either, but it's more for you to give you fair warning. There is an age gap between Dylan and Abel. I believe it's about 15 years. If the book hadn't told me that, I wouldn't have known. Abel is not really the most mature as far as like his joking goes. He is very dirty humor-esque and so he read sometimes a lot younger than his actual age. With that in mind, Dylan and Abel actually had a really healthy relationship throughout the book. I can't remember them keeping really secrets from one another. Um, Dylan always felt safe with Abel throughout the book. They communicated really well. Even when there was jealousy, it wasn't jealousy pointed at each other. Majority of the hallmarks of a pretty good relationship. This book does have a lot of action even outside the bedroom, and it is very fast paced. Sometimes it's a little bit too fast paced and I do wish the author had slowed it down just a teeny bit for more descriptions as far as settings, characters, and actions of the characters. Now, just as a reminder, this is a motorcycle club romance, so there is some dirty humor involved as well, dirty joke telling. Um, some of the characters are pretty gruff and a little bit abrasive. If you know that going in and you either don't mind it or like that kind of humor, like that kind of uh, style of writing, then this is going to be a book for you. Overall, I had fun with this book. I didn't really know what to think of it going in because it was my first book like this. And there was one explicit scene where I went, hmm. But overall, it's fast paced, it's action packed, and even outside of the explicitness, I just enjoyed the relationship that Abel and Dylan had. As said, they felt safe with each other. They communicated pretty well. I wasn't really, I, I admit, I was not expecting even close to a healthy relationship after some of the other dark romances I have read. I will probably read the second book in this series, which follows Dylan's sister, but I don't know if I'll read the third one because the age gap in that book is just a little too big for what I'm comfortable with. Please let me know if you have read a motorcycle club romance, if you're interested in reading it, if you've read Abel and what your thoughts on it are. Thank you so much for watching my review and sticking with me. As always and forever, may get lost in a book.